Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, the Weekend League here. This is uh, Group 2 of the Weekend League and uh, we are back um, for another season starting up here in Austria. And uh, Natty was supposed to be doing this, but uh, his internet is currently running at one megabyte a second. I mean, amazing. It, f huge internet speeds there. Uh, but uh, I am joined uh, once again uh, by... I'll, I'll let you introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm back. Uh, and I'm going to play 7-0. It's the uh, second time around. Um, hopefully I won't lag out. And I'm just excited to see another one of these fantastic races, I guess. Yeah, well, uh, I have to see what's going to happen here. Uh, a lot of drivers here who uh, I've seen before I knew can be quick, as uh, at the moment it is uh, Angles Gaming at the top at the moment. But uh, yeah, 14 drivers in uh, this uh, second weekend league. Um, so let's have a look here. And. Uh, See who's putting in laps at the moment. It's Enwells Gaming on pole with a 1 minute 3.9 at the moment. The only person to get into the 1 minute 3s. Uh, everyone else in the 1 minute 4s or 1 minute 5s at the moment. And uh, let's have a look here. Let's see who's on a lap. Looks like uh, Naronje uh, on a lap at the moment. Two temps up here as uh, in the Williams. Coming through the end now of sector two into sector three uh, short back lap on lap this one here Dan and uh, it's um, it's uh, always this track always provides some really really good racing it does yeah um, like probably I think this is one of everyone's best track like if you were ever to say where's your fast lap or track it would be here like, it's just so easy to nail every single corner and just get a decent laugh. You can see Enwell's gaming just a 139. Like, that is a pretty fast laugh. <laughs> that would be hard to beat that. Uh, yeah, that's a really good lap there from N Wheels Gaming. So, uh, let's see if anyone is able to beat him. Uh, bon Evil out on a lap at the moment, not being able to improve. And uh, we've seen Bon Evil up high uh, at the top of the weekend league. Actually, won uh, the weekend league last season, so we're only one weekend league. Uh, let's have a look here as well. Um, Owen here, start, I think he's coming in for an in lap. He is a tenth up at the moment in the Alpha Tauri. Uh, JMB Thrill on a lap as well, also in the Alpha Tauri. Um, JMB also in this league last season as well. Um, also in was in the academy. As uh, let's have a look here. So anybody else? I want a lap. Looks like N Wales is on a lap at the moment. See what he's able to do. As uh, he comes round, come round through the final sector now. In his Mercedes, coming through the final two corners here. That's Ryan on board. Hooks it nicely and just runs over that curb there. And uh, that unfortunately is for him an invalidation. Uh, there as he put the he full car seconds. on top of that curb. Yeah, he was five seconds down his lap, so I don't think he was pushing too hard. Maybe it's just slight enough, but so he'd be pushing even harder, trying to um just trying to extend this gap and lead from danger times. He was just two chance down in the in the house, and then just just give uh, I think start another block, I believe. The racing points, uh, who is currently in P3. Yeah, just Kev here coming up towards uh, turn three now. Very tricky corner. You want to make sure you just don't put the, the foot down too early. Try and get on the uh, try and get on the power as early as you can, but not too early that you spin the car out. Very easy to do there on turn three. As uh, down towards turn four now, hooking it very nicely up there in the racing point. And uh, Jutzkev was uh, second in the Freshman League last season. And I'm sure he'll uh, be wanting to possibly even move up the leagues, maybe go to Premier or Super for uh, the next season, which uh, the sign-ups are out for. So if you, if you, are, if you were in uh, F1 last season, uh, the sign-ups are back out for the main F1 leagues. Also, the, the, I believe the sign-ups of the Academy are still open as well for the new season if you want to join. Uh, we're still looking for numbers. Only 39 people signed up at the moment. But yeah, what a lap 
from Jitsi Kev. I wanted 3.5, but yeah, we haven't got enough people to run all of our leagues at the moment. There's only 39 people. Um, so looking for more people to sign up. But yeah, what a lap from Jitsi Kev. I wanted 3.5 and uh, goes four tenths ahead of N Wells Gaming in second place. And uh, Danger Time's not far behind them. He's actually four temps up on his time in the house in the moment. Having to go, get out of the, trying to, having to go around the racing point as he comes up towards turn three. And uh, hooking it up very nicely there as well. Almost lost the rear a little bit there, but keeps it under control. I think he bailed out the lap, actually, after that. That's uh, actually very, very, very kind of good. Get the right amount of traction out of... Just really slow with the straight to the straight. You want to get your foot in as quickly as you can. But just as seen there, you can just really unsettle the car, kick out the rear, and just kill your lap. Yeah, it is a difficult corner turn three, and it's simple but difficult. Um, but uh, you yeah, know, I have to see. The driver's fair in the race. They're going to be careful of that final corner as well. They run all the way over that curb. They will receive a penalty. And well, it's just on the lap there. He just got it invalidated. He was just a little bit faster on his lap. But he the board, mm -hmm. Let's have a look here. I can, see people. I can see people in the chat. Just quickly getting up the chat quickly. And uh, let's see who is joining us. Oh, yeah, I've accidentally got the sound on. There we go. That's all right, though. There we go. And uh, a few people come around on the laps at the moment. Four minutes 14 left to go in this session. And uh, let's see who can get themselves towards the top. 26 people now watching. Uh, we've got Fruit. Flute. Is it Flute? Yeah, Flute Van. Flute Van. Van. I am horrible with names. Uh, welcome in the chat. Hello there. 26 people watching now. Welcome to the start of the weekend league uh, here in Gavra. The group two, the earlier group, and there will be a group later on as well uh, coming up here in the weekend league. Um, as uh, Bon Evil, 10th to 4th. A woman at 4.1 for Bon Evil. Put herself up there, up into 4th position. And uh, yeah, let's. Danger Time's got the P2 there, beating uh, Anwell's this time. Yeah. It's just 1.8, 1, 1 uh, 187 tenths off Judskev, so everyone very fast here at uh, Austria. But uh, yeah, welcome uh, Ben Roberts and Isaac Smart in the chat as well. And uh, yeah, so welcome everyone in the chat. The two Williams drivers from last weekend, but, uh, last weekend, they both in the in the chat there, Danger Time's on the lap, as he said, put himself up into second place at the moment. So he's uh, doing well to get himself ahead of Enwell's game and only two tenths off of Jutsi Kev. Um, let's have a look here. They're very close up there at the top of the grid. As, um, let's have a look at anybody at the bottom of the grid going for a lap. A super clean racer um, on the lap here at the moment on the medium tyre. As uh, coming around now through sector... Three now, four temps up through the middle sector. What can he do now? Coming down through the final two corners. So it does it very well there. Down now into the final corner. Runs very wide onto the curb and has invalidated that lap. It was four temps up. Can Jutzikev improve on his time? He is three temps up on his time. This is going to be a very, very good lap from Jutzikev. Round the penultimate corner. Down into the final corner here. Hooking up very nicely. And he ran. Oh, he's allowed to do that. I thought he would get a penalty. But in the end, he actually lost time there in that final corner because he ran wide. So that is not going to count for Jutzikev. Actually, no, you could lift off and it would be okay. But you could just change. Here, and see on the hill of entry, he just lifts off and he goes, well, because no, he's carrying too much speed through there. I'm just seeing if he could salvage anything, but it was no use. And it's pretty much matched his time. You see, Enwell's on the lap now, just coming around down to turn four. He might be able to 
Dark Bane shows me and and Mills Gaming not far behind him as well, just coming now through the uh, last part of Sector 2. Um, has gone two temps up at the moment, but isn't at the moment going quick enough to beat Jutsi Kev's time. And, um, yeah, as expected, I don't know how that wasn't invalidated either, if I'm honest. I think it's because he ran all the way along the curb instead of coming back onto the track. Uh, Jutsi Kev retiring, so cannot improve on his time and uh, has retired the car. And, uh, yeah, N Wales up into P2 there. Improved, managed to improve by a few temps to go at one temp ahead of Danger Times. And that has uh, Bon Evil uh, in fourth position, looking to improve as well. And, uh, coming out on the outlap. Luckily, the lap around here is nice and short, so you can come out nice and late on your outlap and uh, get around the track. Let's have a look at Naronje. Um, I know it's there, just got blocked, I think, from. Uh and uh, Alfatori and Arano, and I'm just going to enter in three. Just giving the chance saying, how can I, how can I improve? When, uh, but the, and said I could improve, but there was too much traffic in front. So uh, a couple of traffic problems that Kev was having there, as um, a few people getting invalidated laps. Might see quite a few penalties here. DBD uh, coming around now, as uh, looking to improve on his lap. I'm in the Renault. Uh, let's see what he is able to do. He comes round the final corner and uh, actually has invalidated there, so will not improve on that time. Will anybody else towards the top improve? I don't think Enwell's gaming is going to improve at the moment. Uh, Danger Times at the moment is a tenth up. Uh, bon Evil, uh, I don't know at the moment what lap time she's running on. She's just uh, seven hundred off on a lap, and the is going to be. Oh, was Danger yes, Times has invalidated on that lap. He was 200s up through the middle sector. I think he got, um, I think, what is that, turn six? I think he got wrong. Yeah, I think turn six they had a bit of an issue. Got that completely wrong. Um, bon Evil now coming through the final two corners now. And uh, two very tricky corners. Want to just completely just send the car in there. And through the final corner as well. Not running out wide onto the curb. And that's what she just did. And has invalidated the lap, so will not improve there, and will start in fourth position. Danger times is going to start in third. Enwell's gaming can he improve? He does improve and goes pole by a hundredth of a second. Enwell's gaming on pole position for this one in the Mercedes, unless anyone else can beat him. But at the moment, it is provisional pole position for Dan uh, for Enwell's gaming. Just to Kevin second. Danger times is not going to improve. I don't think. Bon Evil in fourth. Naronje isn't going to improve as well. Can Antonio improve here in this time? No, he's invalidated. Um, the, the guy's name, though, I, I just struggle to pronounce every single time is in eighth place. Uh, Fizzy I buy in ninth. It's going to improve. No, it won't. Will Toby improve here? Go around the final few corners here. Down into the final corner in 11th place. Can he improve it? Hasn't invalidated. Does move up into seventh place in the end. A good lap time from him there. And uh, yeah, moves himself up into seventh position. But a uh, good lap there from Memo's Gaming. Yeah, it's just very close up the top. Just, what, five thousandths in it. That just show, shows how close these two drivers are. To, you know, these these three, four, five drivers are, um, like, just, I think Paul, like, all the way down to uh, P9 is covered by a second, so, like, that's, like, really close between everyone. Just sending it out, trying to get a lap. You just doing danger, I'm just getting in the pits there, and then session should be over. Uh, yeah, it was a very good qualifying there from uh, those guys. So there is the final grid. It's just ran down before. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see how the race goes. Remember, two races in the weekend, need two 25% races. The first race with an 18-minute quality. The second race with a one-shot quality. And uh, just provide that the, the racing. Um, to provide some very good racing, especially the guys at the top. 
who may push too hard and validate, they will start towards the back of the grid, and it just allows for a bit of a mixed grid and allows for some really good racing. But uh, 10 seconds now until we start uh, the first of the... Uh, first of the drivers there. I can't wait for the start. Just the chaos into turn one. We're just <laughs> really looking to be excited. waiting now to begin let's have a look and see what people are doing in the chat just waiting now on to start just wait for everyone to load in yeah, everyone's starting on softs except for a super clean racer mp12 who is opting for the mediums that will be interesting to see him on his fast softs through the last few laps but here we go Yeah, here we go. On for the formation lap. Let's have a look here. Um, so, so I'm asking what the strategy was. is just a soft to medium. Only a one stop. It's usually always a soft to medium. Uh, Piero. Uh, Piero, Piero in the chat saying, um, hoping the next game we could have Port Mau and Imola. They were announced the, the 20, F1 uh, 2021 calendar. Uh, it would be good to see. Uh, oh, now he's shouting me out for stepping in because of his one megabyte per second internet. And Pierre also saying, oh, good to see another French driver, it is. It is good to see another French driver here. Nurhanje and Antonio just came together at uh, turn three in their boat. And I'm very cold tires that are put back to the grid there. I'm getting disqualified from the formation lap for him. So. I actually don't know if, if their tires are going to be like, really cold or not because they're going to start they're not warm their tires at all just completely just stuck on the grid with very cold tires yeah the uh, few drivers do get a bit caught out by that but uh, yeah tire wear and um, tire warmth as I'm going to say um, <laughs> is actually a factor during um during uh, the formation lap, but no damage in the formation lap, which is uh, which is good, especially for online racing. It, it, uh, there can be collisions, as we have seen. Uh, so Gavra is asking, uh, as Vietnam has been cancelled, uh, yeah, it's it's got replaced by the to be to be decided track. No, it got ca basically Gavra. What they did was they decided to build a half street circuit, half actual race circuit track. And then the Vietnamese government went, you know what, we don't want an F1 track in our, in our country. We don't want to host an F1 race. Let's just not do one. And an AI is already just completely shot off, but luckily it's ghosted, so it shouldn't be an issue. And there we go, the lights are out, and away they go. That is Bookmasters for you, as uh, Jutskev now getting a really good start. He's already got ahead of Emos Game, and Emos Game has been tagged from behind from Danger Times. And as um, already, I think it's Bon Evil off at the back. Yeah, Bon Evil's had a spin. JMB Surreal and Bon Evil spinning at the back. That's huge for Bon Evil in the championship. But here it goes now. Everyone into turn. They oh, someone's taken out the braking board. I think it was the Ferrari. Um, uh, I'll turn. I'll I didn't even know how to say it. Ali. I'm just gonna say Ali from now on. As um, the Ferrari now just taking out the braking board. And Mr. Ram Y got pushed off a little bit there. But Danger Times dropping back down a little bit. But uh, Jutsi Kev getting the jump on M Wells Gaming at the moment. And a good start there from Jutsi Kev, but how unfortunate for Bon Evil now all the way towards the back of the grid behind JMB Strill. Is there damage? No damage to the racing point, no damage to the AlphaTauri as well. As uh, must have either just spun out of turn one or there was a bit of contact I didn't see. And uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Is everyone coming down now? Well, now, and that is a, quite an unrepresentative time from the AI, but 
that uh, just kept should just nice and easy be able to just catch up. Um, as uh, the AI is ghosted as well, ghosting is on in the weekend league, um, which it just allows for the AI to just not get in the way anymore. As uh, danger time sticking close to N Wales at the moment. As uh, there's a bit of a gap then to Naronje, and he's got a, a pack behind him. Uh, Ali, then Antonio, Toby, DBD, uh, actually go now, go wheel to wheel with Toby, as uh, might look for a move here, DBD, will he look for a move down into turn four, will he, he's going to move to the inside, a little bit of contact there, but uh, in the end the space just wasn't there for the Renaults, now he's going to go wheel to wheel with Owen now, is DBD going to hold the line on the inside? And uh, Owen now going to go down the inside here. Will he look for the move? And uh, in the end, does get the move done. That's a really nice move there from the Alpha Tauri. Yeah, I'm just uh, just saying, just thinking now, we, at least we got another Bon Evil charger like we did see in France. But he does get past uh, JMB there. You have to work, but I think, yeah, he just lets him through. As, yeah. Naranjo just getting a penalty there. Um, well, I don't know what that was for, just checking now. <laughs> you see a lot of warnings in the thing. Yeah, you yeah see there, is, there is a lot of warnings. People just um, going a little bit over the track limits. So track limits in this game are just horrendous anyway. Um, compared to especially if you play, if anybody plays GT Sport, the track limits are so nice in that. Um, honestly, in, in, in Austria, you can actually use the curbs. You can actually go over the curbs on the final few corners and through the middle sector. You, know, you can actually take actual F1 lines, but in F1 you can't take F1 lines because the track limits are just oh, awful. As uh, DBD spun. Uh, what yeah, happened there? Did you see? Drop, yeah, I think he just dropped it completely. Just got on the. Uh, I think he touched the grass and just had just putting too much throttle. Just bend it into the wall. I think. Didn't get a great angle from uh, this wonderful game. This was just showing me the nice trees. <laughs> And I just saw yellow flags as run out oh, flies into was... the barrier. Yeah, it's, uh, I thought there was going to be... I thought there was going to be an answer in there, but it was just the AI. As uh, Naronje now going round his teammate, uh, Fizzy Bite, up into fifth position. Oh, Fizzy's oh. hit him! Fizzy's hit his own teammate. The two Williams collide at turn three. And it's not two Ferraris this time. It's two... two uh, Williams, there's, there's been a spinner. Oh. We've got Toby, a spinner, classic turn three spinner into the into the Armco barrier on the right hand side, and uh, a lot of people are prone to doing that. As Bon Evil now trying to find way back up the um, back up the standings here. Next up is Super Clean Racer, as uh, the Ferrari now right behind Fizzy Bite, and. Um, Gonna be looking for the move. Got they've got to defend from the Red Bull of Antonio though. Um let's see if they're able to get the move done. As a uh, bit of a DRS train at the moment. That's kind of what starts to happen in this game is you do start to form a few DRS trains and you can't be running out there, Antonio. You will get penalties. Um Nice and easy in F1 though, you can put half of the car over the, the, the yellow sausage curb and uh, half the car on the main part of the track. But uh, in F1 you cannot put any part of the car on the sausage curb, obviously you will get given a penalty. So well done Codemasters um, for, for being useless again. As, um, so, oh, there's contact! There was a bit of contact there as the Ferrari went into the back of the Williams. It was Ali going into the back of Fizzy Bite. I'd say everyone just managing to get past the AI car, but at the moment here, it's still danger times up front behind Nwell's game and Jutskev holding up a what is a 1.9 second gap to Nwell's game, and it's been an absolute flyer from Jutskev at the moment here. Well, yeah, it's just we see uh, in uh, qualifying he was just uh, snake off the sign from traffic, I guess, and Nwell's managed to take advantage of that and take pole position, but I think he's now just. Absolute, not having any of it, and just taking NWLs at the start, and then just pushing out, as you can see now. Oh, so that was a bit of a rear slide there from the Ferrari, as um, just came out of turn one, got on the curb, got a penalty because of it, just cut the turn, the inside of turn one too much, lost the rear, 
and uh, then having to defend from the incoming red ball behind of Antonio. But here goes Danger Times on Enwills Gaming. He's going to go round the outside, looking for the move now. Going to make the cutback on the inside. Will he look for the move now? And actually does get the move done. Danger Times up into second place in the Haas. And that is some dangerous times for Enwills Gaming. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I can say. Thank you. Uh, I did see, just see, at the back, uh, Super Nero just overtook took uh, Owen in the Alpha Tari, and I did see uh, Antonio again, was getting very close to Ali in the Ferrari again. Oh, it was just slides into turn 9, and uh, yeah, he was just like getting on his rear, but it just uh, tore a slam in his face. You see that DRS train, very long DRS train, yes, very spaced out. But As, maybe uh, Danger Times can have another crack at trying to take down uh, Jessikov, who is flying out in front of this. Yeah, Danger Times, so even able to catch up. Just have open about 2.2 seconds gap. I just got a super clean race. Uh, uh, that was on the AI there. I thought they was actually what making the an Ferrari overtake does. there. Here goes all the Ferrari of uh, Ali there, having a bit of a spin. But Bon Evil now on Owen, getting the move done. And up into. Um, oh, had, uh, up into 10th position now. I don't know if the uh, Red Bull actually hit. Yes, he did. I see he got a warning for hitting uh, Ali. Oh, is he has damage now. Yes, he does. He has big damage on his front wing. Uh, does Antonio? Because he he's not missing an M play, and he's all the way down in yeah. eleventh. Yeah. As Antonio, Enwell's now going. A bit of a collision. Danger, danger times into the pits. Yeah, danger times coming in early for the pits. So is uh, Fizzy. Yeah. Antonio, I think he uh, went into the back of Ali in the Ferrari and uh, just sent him wide and I think he just lost his end plate to that. Yeah, he must Not have. sure, I think it just... Uh, the gaps have opened out a little bit here between everyone. Everyone at least got a second between them. As uh, hopefully we can start to see some people move up the grid. As uh, Owen now moving up the grid, getting past the AI car. And he's seven, seven position. A couple of people with penalties uh, towards the front of the grid and towards the back as well. See the AI of Tuckduff then. He's actually hustling Owen there. He's ghosting into him every now Owen receiving a bit of pressure from the AI for Harry. Uh, yeah, Von Evil has already got back up to fifth place after that spin. <laughs> so he's, uh, yeah, he's just completely just launched it straight back up to fifth. Gritty in France again, er, but before he, like, he just came out of nowhere and ended up in, like, what was it, P5 in the race? It's brilliant, come back now. Yeah, it was a bit of a very good race from him. Um, let's have a look here and see who was Danger Times That's into the pits. Didn't, did Danger Times have a wing change? Uh, Danger Times had a penalty. Oh, but he's come he back in, has he come back in again? Did he get? Did he have wing damage? I don't know, he had a five second cause, penalty. Cause, yeah, because he came into the pits, but I think he's come back in again. Because he's got, he had... Um, Wing damage. So he's gone back onto a set of softs. Nice. Uh, yeah, he came into pits. He, yeah, he did have wing damage. You can see, and the uh, uh, race director said he came in before uh, from mediums to softs, and then came in again for front wing change, going from mediums to softs. Okay, here comes the wrong Jane to the pits. Bonnie Evil into the pits as well. So does Super Clean Racer. I think Bonnie Evil had to serve a bit of a penalty there. As uh, the moment uh, now on a way out. And uh, let's have a go. Oh, Naronje's had a spin. As he span immediately out of the, the pet. He has. He's, he's had a, a span pretty much immediately out of the pit lane. And that's allowed Super Clean Racer to go past. I'm sure Bonnie Evil will start to go right past as well. Is Bonnie Evil going to send it down the inside? Almost went into the back of Super Clean Racer. 
up into eighth position, and that was uh, really uh, unfortunate for uh, Naronji. I think he just span after he came out of the um, out of the pit lane. And so Enwell's gaming now. First, the front runners to come into the pits. Uh, no, sorry, no, Jutsi uh, Kev came into the pits. And uh, Enwell's reacting to the undercut. Is easy going to come out ahead of Jutsi Kev? He won't. Um, he's going to come out quite a far bit behind him, actually. So Owen coming into the pits. So does the uh, and Trumbler, the AI, coming into the pits as well. And uh, it's going to move a few people now up into some podium positions here. The people who pitted slightly a bit earlier for that undercut. That was uh, that was some undercut from uh, Judske. <laughs> an eight second, eight and a half yeah, second gap. Eight point six seconds. There, the gap. I'm trying to see uh, the Instagrams have to drop all the way down to B12. There's a uh, Bon Evil getting past Supreme Racer there. I don't know. Be quite far. He has DRS, but I don't think he'll have enough speed to get him back into the turn four. So, uh, let's have a look at his super clean racer. At the moment is uh, right up behind Bonnie Evil on the fresh set of soft tyres. Um, let's see if he's able to make a move on the weekend league champion. Current holder of the weekend league championship. Obviously, it'll be two weekend league now, so we're going to be having two weekend league champions. But, uh,. See what's gonna happen as uh, Super Clean Racer up behind Bonnie Evil. Uh, maybe put in some. Uh, he'll have a lot more grip now because he did start to race on the mediums and went to softs. Definitely, uh, and uh, you know. a bit of an alternate strategy from Super Clean Racer. I think he tried to qualify in mediums and then started in like 11th and then just came up to. Uh, Six now, but well, I have noticed that it has gotten a little bit more cloudy around the track. It has to. I, I think. I think if there was any, uh, I think if there, was, if there was any rain, it would have to come now for it to have any effect on the drivers having to make a pit stop for intermediates. If it comes any later, the drivers are going to be able to just stay out on the tires they're on to the end of the race. So I, I think rain Shh. now. Would make a uh, right now wouldn't make too much of a difference to the drivers apart from the final few laps. Oh, it's just rain is rain. <laughs> it's just rain. I want rain. I know we would. I would want some rain as well. Make it very interesting. We might get it in the second race. You never know. Two twenty-five percent races, so we might get the rain in the second race. Um. And maybe get it in the one-shot quality. That would make things really interesting. But uh, a few people picking up some penalties here. Let's just have a take a look at the penalties. So, six seconds to uh, Ali Toga and Fizzy Bite. Uh, JMB Sro with three seconds. Antonio with eight seconds. And uh, six seconds, sorry. And Naranjay with six seconds. And Toby with nine seconds of penalties. So not too many penalties around this track. It's, it's not a difficult one to pick up penalties. Um, it's... Um, yeah, it, it's probably a, probably a say along 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 with like the likes of like Brazil. I think it, it's a track where you can avoid penalties. I think the place where Jutsi Kev has just given an example of the the worst place on this track to get penalties is Turn One. Um, it's probably the the place, and Turn One and probably is the final two corners. Everywhere else is is all right to be fair. I just saw Von Evil we'll get a little bit of tank cipher on exit over. Uh... Turn 10, the last corner. I have um, to go out wide and, and just got a penalty for it. Antonio back into the pits again. Interestingly. Looking for a set of softs? Yes, yeah, I think he's soft. just trying to sneak the fast slot. Possibly, like, we've seen this yeah. before in, like, real life F1 where they did, they had the gap. Like, we saw in, um, where was it, Silverstone, where, uh, there was a decent gap behind Verstappen, and he came in for a set of softs. Fastest lap, yeah. 
possibly, but uh, has put him outside the points. He does not get the fastest lap point if he's outside of the top 10. So he's got to get himself back into the top 10 if he wants any chance of getting that fastest lap point. I think he wanted to just get off all those hards as well, because the hards are, are quite dreadful. But um, uh, Pierre in the chat, Pierre in the chat maker, uh, a good point saying that the um, Super Clean Racer hasn't used any of his ERS. So Pop maybe just saving it for the final few stages in this race, but Bon Evil's actually caught up to Fizzy Bite. So we are gonna see an overtake here. Here goes Bon Evil now turning outside of Fizzy Bite. Around the outside and nice and easily. Bef even before the braking zone, getting the move done there on Fizzy Bite. And now it's the turn of Super Clean Racer. Deploying the ERS now, wanting to just get the move done nice and early here. Gonna go to the outside now. Gonna take it down the out inside, and that's a bit of a late lunge from him. But uh, in the end, no real damage done to them. Just saying, uh, Bon Evil does have a three second penalty as well, so if Supreme Razor can get past Fizzy and maybe just keep that uh, gap, he will finish in D4. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, it depends on what the penalties are. Bon Evil's got three seconds. Uh, Ali Turgut's got six seconds, so it, that gap needs to be three seconds. So she needs to make up two seconds in two laps. That's a second a lap here to get on the podium and also not pick up any more penalties unless the Ferrari picks up another penalty. I will love to see a last lap on there. Right, we've got to do we've got to do some support in here, Dan, mate. <laughs> okay, because. Uh, sick 432 in the chat just said guys, please support my friend Toby. Uh, he's a little nervous and needs your support. Come on Toby mate You yeah, got this go pal. You, you've been ready. You've been unlucky this race mate, but trust me There's another race to go. You've got chances. You can just go for not it man. Here. It's all good Yeah, sick mate. Tell him to not be nervous. Okay, it's only the weekend league if he wants to feel the real nerves yeah, it's it's actually just fun, mate. It's just a fun race. It's all good. If he wants to feel the real nerves, go and join the main F1 leagues. But no, this is this is this is just a fun racing, and uh, that's all that matters really. It's just a, all that matters is you have fun while driving, and. Uh, oh, yeah, I was my other friend was uh, doing the F2 race at Mexico, uh, and he he did. Um, he started on the super soft. He's the only one who started on the super soft. Got all the way up to second, and then spun and dropped down to like last. Yeah, that that F two race was frustrating. I mean, on the especially just on the rears, just the spinning out. I spun out a couple of times as well. So, just you know, just uh, don't be nervous. Uh, yeah, have fun with it and just go for it. You know what I mean? It's that's all it is, I, really. I was, I was talking to him in party, and I said that he, I was saying to him to give him confidence that he did qualify ahead of me. Just give him a bit of. Let's, uh, let's have a look now. Antonio um, getting up into 11th. He's got to pull up a 1.3 second gap. He's got to get that down in the next two next two laps. Uh, hasn't actually been able to record the fastest lap. That's still owned by Jutsi Kev up in third position. Remember, point for fastest lap uh, here. And the gaps have opened out a little bit. People just six tenths off uh, Ali. It's like five tenths away from a podium here. From a podium, so but will, you you got to have yeah. a look behind though, Dan. Super Clean Mesa has zero penalties and is within a three-second gap and is also within the six-second gap to the Ferrari. So it could actually be Super Clean Racer on the podium. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is a, a two-way last lap, Lando. Oh, my God. It is. Come on, it's, boys. Yeah, co come on, Lando. <laughs> Lando and it, Lando on. Norris is suddenly in the Renault, but here he goes. So got to try and get Super Clean Racer. Got to try and get onto the podium, but has, seems to have just lost a little bit of speed here. He's running out of fuel, possibly maybe even in lean mix. Maybe just have wasted a lot of that fuel there. Drop back a little bit there. That gap opened up to 2.3 seconds. I think Ali's going to narrow the gap to uh, anywhere else. So it's just yeah, it's just yeah. Good, good race from Jutsi kept there, coming across the line to take the win here. Enwell's came and come across and take second. Oh, oh and it's the Ferrari spun in the it. final corner. Oh, that doesn't the mean Ferrari. Super Clean Racer will take D3, I, I think it is, yeah, yeah it's Super this. Clean Racer on the podium. Bon Evil in fourth. The Ferrari Valley Target in fifth. Fizzy Bite in 
in sixth. JMB Surreal in seventh. Danger Times will come across the line in, in seventh. No, JMB Surreal will take eighth. No, oh, JMB Surreal will take ninth. Oh, will take eighth. Just waiting for the people to come across the penalties. That was a very wide line there from the wrong J. Trying to defend from Antonio. But I think in the end, it is going to be Antonio who take the final spot there in the top ten. And uh, it's not over yet because we have another race to go. Yeah, that was. <laughs> there's always something that spices up. <laughs> yeah, One a bit, quite a large spinale there from. Sniped. Just gonna be sniping it, but. That's a clean race here. That was a last lap and a half. That was a last that moment. As uh, super clean racer on the podium alongside Judd's Kev and M Wells Gaming, and uh, well done to those guys. And uh, yep, there was the final standings. And uh, towards the bottom of the grid, it was Antonio did get that final point position. It was a Ron J. Then it was Defend Trumbland. Toby, and then it was uh, DBD, but still another race to go, another one shot quality, and uh, people just pe people just saying Spinala in the chat. Piero asking why is it always a Ferrari that spins? It's the law. <laughs> it's just the law. Yeah, it, it's, it's what happens. Law. Oh, that was great. Solid performance from Just Give. See what happens now as we go into the second 25% race. Oh. My 5G held up. Right, so, on to the next one. The sh there is. That's how the weekend league works. So the first race is an 18-minute quality, 25% race. And then the second race is a one-shot quality and then also a 25% race. The second race, however, is reduced points. Only 15 points for a win. Wait, is there another race at eight? Uh, yes, there is another race. I should be on that as well, so. Good, 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 good. Oh, Sean Hepburn, Clan Hoodie. Oh, I am just praying to the rain gods at the moment. The rain, I know. We we would like some rain up here in the commentary box, if we're honest. Like, like not for us. I hate being in the rain, but as long as they're in it, that would be nice. You so you like watching the red races, you don't like driving them. I am just horrible altogether driving, so. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'll just be chilling in this commentary box at my house. Morning, voice, sure, your connection quality limits you to talking to the nurse. 22 players on the circuit. Okay, thanks, Wi Fi. My Wi-Fi telling me some, or F1 just telling me that my Wi-Fi is a bit crap, so thanks for that. Ah, uh, well, it's alright, because F1 is, is quote-unquote, a bit crap, so it's not F1 racing, the Codemasters F1 game. Um, no range, Tom. We might get it in the race, we might get it in the race, just bear with it, bear with it. There's so hope, there's so hope. <laughs> Natty, mate, I'm sure I could get you one. Oh, Natty, I do have one, actually. Um, sorry, yesterday when we were playing that certain Battle Royale game. 
You can use you can use that one, mate. I'll I'll, I'll give you it for free. An army of hamsters. <laughs> look how your look how your internet just works off of a hamster wheel now. Why don't you when you upgrade to a slightly larger animal? Oh, and there goes Dan. So there goes his internet. Don't worry, now you're not the only one with hamster wheel internet, mate. Here we go, one shot quality. There is um I, I, I'm not even gonna try, if I'm honest. <laughs> it's so that you don't realize how difficult it actually is to commentate on these one on these one shot qualities. So let's find on board with the man himself, the winner of last race, Jutsi Kev. As uh, through ten three nicely there, getting on the power nice and early. Just to keep an eye on his throttle inputs, you'll uh, you'll see just very tentative on the throttle. Won't want to slam it down. As they're down there, breaking at the hundred meter board, getting the car nice and turned in there, using the curb on the outside. As you could come now, pull inwards and shift down into fifth. It's going to come over the curb, down into sixth gear, getting the car nicely turned around. Make sure he sticks off the curb on the right hand side, otherwise, he will get a penalty. As uh, now down towards the final few corners, down into seventh, turning the car in as best he can, avoiding the curb on the right hand side, going all the way over it, avoiding going all the way over on this curb, hooks it up nicely, up to the line. And he is going to go in pole position by a tenth over Enwell's game. And then it's Danger Times in third. Antonio fourth. Bon Evil fifth. I didn't get to see the rest of the grid there. Welcome back. But, uh, Hi, there... I didn't realize my phone was only two percent. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, but there is <laughs> the final grid. So it's uh, just get on pole. Emwell's gaming in second. Danger times third. Antonio fourth. Bonneville fifth. JMB Sorrell sixth. Noron J seventh. Owen in eighth. Some clean race in ninth. Toby in tenth. And uh, the McLaren. I didn't see who that was. There's got no name. And then everybody else uh, had uh, had an invalidated lap. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right, that's Z-Tech. Um, that is the, in the McLaren there. Oh, my God. Why does everything have to run on the concept of Wi-Fi? Why? Just why? This is very annoying. I should be okay to join back. I say with hope. Yes, alright, I have Wi-Fi on DF1. I'm gonna miss a start again, am I? <laughs> no, you're in, you're in. We haven't started quite yet. Yep. No one ready up, please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Alright, I'm in. Let's go. I'm guessing there is no rain. Right then, here we go. As uh, Jutsi Kev going to lead the way here for the second formation lap. Wait. So, got so many people commenting. We're up to 100 comments already. Jeez. We are the popular ones now. Aha. Uh -huh. so, uh, yeah, Piero, I believe he, the Dutchie did an alright job in the commentary box, actually, in that F2 race. I haven't actually heard it myself in my list, so... So many people getting disqualified, jeez. Oh, 
Why is it sunny? No. My prayers came to nothing, I guess. <clears throat> Let's have a while though. Right, so a couple of people having a bit a few collisions under the formation lap, but everyone gonna line up now. So once again Jutsi Kev lining up on pole position and then Wills gaming Super behind him. Supreme Racer going for the medium strategy again. Hopefully that works out for him. Yeah, hopefully. Oh he's up Toby getting in tenth. Let's go Toby. Go Toby, you can get some points. Go Toby, go, go, do 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 yes. go Toby, go, go. We need to read go. some sort of chant for Toby. Go Toby, go, go, go Toby, go, go. That's the new chant. That's just go Toby, go, go, go Toby, go, go, go. Right here we go. Lights counting down again for the second time. And the <laughs> lights haven't gone when the drivers go because once again crap masters at it again But it is lights out and away they go Jutsi Kev off to a very good start here So Williams at the back and a brilliant start. There's a Naronji coming right through the pack It's gone oh. three wide a lot of contact with the Alpha Tauri bunch of people running wide There's a Red Bull spinning oh, around in the back and it's Toby Bull. No in the McLaren of them. That's Z-Tech as well spinning around at the back And that's no, unfortunate Toby. from those two but no, Naranje up into fourth position, pushed into times wide, danger times and an awful start. He's fallen all the way down to eighth place. But here goes um, everyone down into turn four. It's very close, close between everyone as uh, Bon Evil now looking to try and go around the outside of JMB Surreal. But in the end, position stays there. Uh, bon Evil going to try and now hook it to the inside down into the next corner but isn't going to try and do that there at the moment. Danger times are going to slide behind. It's very close at the, at, off the beginning of this race. Jutskev still leading, Emlyn's Gaming in second, Antonio Ferdinand, what a start from him, he got a brilliant start off the line, up into fourth position here, and he's going to have to try and defend from these guys behind him, as a two second gap already opened up to the top three, and Antonio doing really, really well at the moment, keeping up with the top three here. Fizzy has damage, he's pulling into bits now, yes, he's missing them playing this right away. Oh, we didn't get any damage from that crush either, so... Just looking for the comeback of dreams, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Mm. I did see at the start, uh, and Ronje just came through the middle, just split the, uh, I think it was the Aftoria. As down the inside goes Bon Evil on Ronje. I know on uh, JMB, actually. On it the, was, yeah, on yeah. the Alpha Tauri. And uh, looking for the move again. I'm gonna try and hold. On the outside. Gonna try and hold it now on the inside. Bonnie Evil does. JMB on the outside, get the move done. Fizzy Bike came into the pits there, gone onto the hards. Definitely sure you could probably take the mediums all of the way, but uh, on to the hard tyre goes Fizzy Bite. And, uh, let's have a look here as uh, Antonio now actually keeping up with M. Wells Gaming here, interestingly. That was very close for me on uh, TBD. Down the inside he goes and gets to be moved on into turn nine. Both yeah, rounds, yeah, both rounds. Yeah, a few people are starting on the mediums now. Yeah, a couple, yeah, it was, uh, it's actually four people at the moment who started on the mediums. Bon Evil, Super Clean Racer, um, Ali, Ali Turga, and DBD. So here goes Danger Times now on Owen. Getting the move done nice and easily up into seventh position. And uh, as I said before, it is reduced points in this race. The winner only getting 15 points in this race. Compared to the 25 that they would get, so uh... oh, it's for some reason Natty now leaving the party. Interestingly, but uh, JMB Surreal keeping behind Bon Evil at the moment. So we already see a DRS train being formed from Ron J down to DBD. So it's now that it's DBD, B. DBD, B. Yeah, I just say DB, DBD because it's just easier. Because DB, DBD, B is just really, just really difficult to say quickly. So I just say DBD. Or DB. Or just DB, yeah. Or, or, Could do. As, J, as JMB is going 
very close to Bonnie willing to turn three. Gets good traction off the Mon Gage. He does have DRS. So that gets us to Hobie. Who is so, in the pits? Yeah, coming to the pits now for a set of mediums. I don't know if that was a, I didn't see if that was a wing change. I think there possibly might have been a I wing would. change involved in that. Um Yes, but, it was a wing change. Wing change, yeah, from that lap one incident. Oh, Bonnie Evil just saw that there, ran over that curb. Uh, full car on top of the curb, which in F1 you actually are allowed to do, but in this game, can't do it. Because apparently, Codemasters, for what they do in F1, you can't do in this game, right? How in how the heck can I justify that for me, right? They, they can use the curbs on this track, like, why can't we? Right? It, it makes no sense, Codemasters, right? It makes, it makes zero sense. It makes, no, it makes zero sense. It's been like that for the past how many... It makes... It honestly makes that... They've just done it so many years now. They've broken the game. It's done for, right? Codemasters, guess what, right? The reason why we don't have enough people signing up to our league, right, is because of you. This is your fault. It is. It is. They don't have. They can't even. They, they can't even get the lights in time for when the drivers come off the grid. Basic stuff. They can't even do track uh, limits. Welcome to the Scabber Stream, where uh, we hear Tiger Assassin going on big track to go for his life. No, but it, it, oh, it's just so annoying. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got. Uh, closest people on track is Danger Times and Jamie, so, uh... Yeah, yeah, they can't on, even, man. they can't even get their servers right. Like, are people just disconnecting left, right, and center? And then especially in the F2 race, right? If there's a lobby glitch, which most of the time there is in this game, you cannot do just a singular sprint race in... The, you have to do a feature race and then a sprint race. It, it, it's, it's beyond me. Anyway, uh, Tiger, here comes Danger Times on JMB to the inside line, into turn three, sends one to the inside, and I think... Or oh, JMB tries to fight a butt, doesn't seem to. I have to say though, D Danger Time, so he's on a bit of a comeback at the moment. He got a really, really yeah. awful start. Went all the way down to 8th place, and he goes to Ferrari now. I think that's Alan looking to move on Owen. As a, a bit of swerving there. I can't be doing that under the braking zone. So you can do a little bit of it on the straight, not too much. Uh, Maybe Alex the last three to spin, but like, not yeah, on straight. I Alex in the chat saying, uh, drivers help the commentators and don't have difficult to pronounce names. It would be great if that was the case. But, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. It's the way the thing that's goes. I'm just getting very close to Bon Evil already. So as soon as you all get signs up for the month, so computer's curse. But she does fight it back with us. Turn one, the louder curve, as they renamed it. Oh, I need to stop talking about where they're gonna spin. As he also gets another tank slapper. Turn one. Just kept not running away with this one as much as he did the last race. Gap is you know, one point four to the last. Enmo's gaming is keeping with him. I think Antonio's in that that a bit of a that awkward position where he's he's faster than the guys behind him. But he's not as quick as the guys in front of him, so he's kind of in this sort of almost this just nice sort of gap that he's got at the moment. It is, he does have to be careful of Naronje behind him, who is starting to gain just a little bit. But uh, JB Surreal on the back of Danger Time still at the moment. Danger Time's on the back of Bonnie Evil. I would just like to shout out Toby again. Keep fighting, mate. It's not over. Never give up on that one. Danger Time's. It's there. I go looking for an undercut on Von Evil. That's uh, DBD now. Is that danger times into the pits? Was that an early pit stop or was that a wing change? I think that was just an early pit stop. I think he's just going for an undercut. I think on, so. Um, yeah, I think it could be, but the thing is, though, he's dropped so far down the grid because the grid is so close that it's even he is in some clean air, which may help him out a lot. As there's a spinner of DBD and he and manual retirement. Yeah, I think it's just a manual retirement from DBD. 
as in comes yeah. Shutikev reacting to the undercut. And uh, into the pits he comes. Will End Wales come into the pits? No, he doesn't. Does Antonio come to the pits? No, Naranje doesn't. Neither does Bonnie Evil. JB Show does, though. So a couple of people coming in for some early pit stops. Just hit just kind of, kind of just behind uh, Alan there in the auditorium. Maybe he will have. No, he's not DRS, but he does have his overtake mode. He's looking for maybe on the outside. Maybe go. Yeah, he's inside line now. Down the inside he goes and Ooh, just a bit of contact. Yeah, uh, just uh, Alan runs a bit wide. Yes, DRS now. He's going for the outside line. The wheel to wheel down the back straight on the outside line and makes his move stick as he goes into turn four. Uh, yeah, Jutzikev now get up into seventh position, and ahead of Owen. Now we've got a Ferrari ahead of him as uh, Ferrari uh, came behind Super Clean Racer. And Super Clean Racer uh, on the same track as Bon Evil and uh, Ali Turgut behind in the Ferrari. Here comes Antonio into the pits. So does Naranje. So does the two guys on the uh, medium tyres. Super Clean Racer coming into the pits, and uh, Bonnie, yeah, Bonnie Evil staying out on these mediums. Possibly going to go one or two more laps, and then coming for the soft tires. Danger Tires putting in the fastest lap at the moment. He is flying at the moment. He's going to go. Will he go past Antonio out of the pits? He won't, but he might be able to get him down the straight. He will be closing in quite quickly on the Red Bull, but uh, not close enough at the moment to make. A pass, but he will now have the DRS going into the next corner. Got turn three a little bit wrong there. That's not helped his exit a lot. And uh, it's not going to help him down the straight either. I don't know, it's just popping through the pits now. As uh, M Wells gaming into the pits. Uh, so, Bonnie, will Drek and Bonnie will come in? Uh, yeah, he does. He is. Following in and Wells, and he is going to go into his soft tires. That will be an interesting strategy from him. Just to give, uh, has just to give it to you? Oh, uh, well, yeah, he is, he's there. Um, but yes, he is on the mediums, and he is back to lead this race, and again, getting a massive on the on N Wells. Four and a half seconds, as Bon Evil has dropped down to fifth. Danger Times is on cut. Did work. And he is up to fourth place, and is now has a decent overspeed on Antonio into turn three. As uh, Naranje now sort of coming towards getting in his battle as well, <coughs> Bon Evil in this battle. We've got a four-way battle here for what is third place. Antonio just losing a little bit of pace here in the second part of this race. And uh, Danger Times now right up behind. Danger Times that undercut really, really working for him. And uh, it's helped out a lot with uh, seven laps to go in this race. Let's see what's going to happen. As uh, Danger Times right up behind the Red Bull of Antonio. I look for the uh, DRS on the straight. As you see, uh, I think yeah, Antonio is harvesting. You see the red light flashing on the rear end. He pulls to the inside, just trying to defend. He's weaving, just trying to get him out of the slip stream. Times may have a better a second bite of the cherry now as he enters the second straight three turn one. On evil puts a penalty there for a month of warnings. And he, now he does have the over, over speed with the DRS. Oh, he's gonna go for the inside line into turn three. Gets oh, it's it gonna go three in. wide! Oh, bon oh evil. huge <laughs> contact! What on earth? Bon <laughs> evil with a huge lunge. Here goes oh, danger oh. times. Back on Bon evil. Gonna be looking for the move now. Isn't gonna oh go for God. it there, but that was that was a huge that, lunge from the that, recent point. That, that legitimately scared me. I that was, was on right on board with danger, and then I'd see a pink flash out of nowhere. That was Bonnie a massive to the lunge. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> he does need to pull out a three-second gap though. He is. He does have penalty. So I uh, think I'm just gonna stick with him for another. What is it? Eight laps or six laps? Yeah, eight, uh, danger times uh, th on three lap old mediums. The guys behind him 
a couple of lap uh, younger of the tyres, so um, that may just give them a slight advantage. Um, yeah, that, um, possibly Bonnie Evil maybe should have given back the position because of that dive bomb. I think it was a bit outrageous. That was yeah. Um, possibly like, should have, have yeah, given back that position. That um, really I should definitely ride on offboard a little bit more. As uh, yeah, as uh, danger times now, losing time to Bonnie Evil, but keeping a good enough gap to Antonio behind. And uh, I have to I see if Antonio could really make the move. He's going to make that sick. He's taking that. He's getting a gap, and he is going. He has a penalty, so he's going to have to gain 1.5 seconds in the next five laps in order to win this er, podium. Yeah, win this podium. I just like to shout out Toby again. You're not last, mate. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, Toby. Keep going. Um, Antonio, in. Uh, uh, could still got that second gap, but uh, it's dropping back a little bit now to the di to danger times. Four laps to go in this race, and uh, let's see if there's going to be any more drama. As uh, yeah, Ali, oh, Ali, Ali Turgut, yeah, yeah, Ali Turgut oh, getting close to Jamie Surreal. <laughs> oh, 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 JB Surreal has done the classic spin at turn three, crash into the Armco barrier on the right hand side. And uh, possibly might get overtaken by his teammate here. Uh, but that's big damage for JB Surreal in ninth position. I just want to ask you, I know it's probably the wrong time, but what do you think of the EA uh, situation on the F1 game? Um, I'm going to use the word interesting. <laughs> that's what uh, everyone uses. Uh, nah, it, it, while there's no battle, and I'll, I'll I'll explain why, right? Because I I think as, as much as EA was voted like the worst game developer in the US like last year, I I think um you see EA know how to make sports games, right? And as much as FIFA has its issues, right? They fix the issues very quickly. Like every time I go, every time I go into FIFA, like if I get FIFA straight away, there's always bugs, right? I'll admit that, right? But it, within the first month, every time I go into FIFA, there's always some form of bug fix. There's always multiple, multiple updates. That's what Codemasters don't do, right? Yeah, I don't we, mind we, if there's. We still I, get an update every single yeah, game, so. I, I don't mind if there's bug fix. I don't mind if there's bugs at the start of the game. It happens. Every game has bugs at the start of the game. Look at the likes of of Grand Theft Auto. Or look at the likes of Call of Duty. They always have bugs at the start of the game, right? But they always fix them, right? That's what Codemasters don't do, and I think that's what everybody gets so annoyed about. Is Codemasters? They they make a game. They make a game, and then they and then they just leave it, and they don't update it, and they, and then they go and focus on next year's game. Like why? You're just robbing. It's like just even, daylight robbery of people's money, is what it is. Like, like even when they did update it for like their performance update, it wasn't even the right. No, they, it wasn't even. even but they they missed like so many different problems with the game, like so many issues. But like, it's the it, small things, but it, like yeah, the right time at the start it, of the race. It, it's always year after year. It's something different, and it's always like it always seems to get worse and worse. But it, it, <sighs> I yeah, the, like I, I agree, that, Piero. Uh, the game content from Codemasters is good. I agree. I, I I agree. I, I really enjoyed like like my team was great. The the online is is fine. Like the way they do the online is fine. The career is great, but it's just the problems with the game and the servers are just so bad. It just ruins the game. Sometimes this game is barely even raceable. Barely you can barely race on this game because of the problems. And like I I think it's interesting because. Bispiero said that I'm not sure if EA will put in the same effort in F1 as they do with FIFA, 
But if they do what they do with FIFA, if they create a game which is playable and it works and people enjoy it, and they fix the bugs immediately, that's all that matters. If they bring, if EA brings something new to it, do so. The EA basically revamped their whole career mode for FIFA 21. Wait. Ho ho sorry, hold up. On Evil is gaining on Enwell's gaining. He, he on get Enwell's gaming. He is one Remember, second. Remember, Evil point. has a penalty though. Of, penalties of six seconds. Oh yeah, it was crap. Wait, it's six seconds. Then? Yeah, six seconds of penalties. Bonnie Evil has. Oh, no. The rest game sort of two seconds on the Yeah, but Gav, Gav, the difference is though, FIFA is full of bugs too, but what did EA do? They fixed them. Within the first month or two months, they fixed them. What did, what did, what did, what did Codemasters not do? Fix their bugs. They don't fix their bugs, they don't update their game, they do nothing. They just make a game, they leave it, and then they focus on the next one. Uh... Scouting, mate. That is um, that. That is not who you think is commentating. I know they sound very similar, but basically, Dan, right? There's someone called Woody, right? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna say this now, okay? Who races in GT Sport, right? Yeah. Okay, I speak to him on a regular basis in in parties. You two sound identical. We're like you Irish. sound so. Yeah, I know, but you sound so similar. It's freaky. It is. It's really <laughs> weird. But anyway, Judsi to the line wins. There was no overtaking in that final part of that race. But anyway, Enwell's gaming in second. Bon Evil gonna take third for now. Yeah, I think. Oh, it's just four. Danger tenths. times. Three tenths. Oh. Three tenths. Bon Evil once again shoved out of the podium positions on penalties. Danger times getting on the podium. Antonio in fifth. Simply Mesa takes sixth. Naranje in seventh. No, it is not Woody scouting, mate. It is not Woody. But it sounds exactly, but he sounds exactly very Woody. Um, Super Clean Racer in safe. I turn getting seven. They're on J in eighth. Owen in ninth. JMB Surreal in tenth. Fizzy Eye Bite will come across in eleventh, no, and then Toby wanna... will take twelfth. What were you gonna say there? Toby, you didn't come last, mate. You didn't come last, mate, Toby. You but didn't you, come last, you may have Toby, just mate. Just there, but you didn't come last. Good result. He may have been in the world, but he did not come last. Yeah, he Jones. did not come last. I would love that. But that was the second week in the Just to quickly round off my point about EA. I think if EA do it right, then it'll be good. And if they fix the bugs, it'll be fine. If they don't, then if it's just, you know, then I'm optimistic for EA. But anyway, that was <laughs> the second better. weekend league race. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. There'll be another race later on today. I have no idea who's going to commentate it because I don't know how reliable Natty's internet is. I mean, if it's running at one megabyte a second, then... Well, I'll give you a hint. It's probably us again. Yeah, probably. Most likely. But, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Dan, for joining me, mate. It's, it's been Thanks a good one. For me. Unfortunately, no rain, but uh, might see that in tonight's uh, race. Yeah. Please, it's the, it's all I ask for. It's all I ask for. Some just just liquid. Yeah, just on some some rain on the track. But uh, there is a driver of the day vote in at the moment. Everybody vote in Jutsi Kev for this one. No, Toby, <laughs> please, Toby, I beg. Um, but uh, yeah, so if you uh, the standings obviously will be updated on the website. If you want to go check that out, make sure if you haven't already. Please go and sign up to F1 if you haven't. We are desperately looking for drivers for the main F1 leagues. Um, you don't need to pay for it. You sign up for free. Um, if you knew, you sign up to the academy. If you're already, if you're already driven in F1, I mean, if you've already driven in the weekend league, we're just gonna let you in anyway. Um, if you've driven in the weekend league, then sign up and we'll put you in the in the leagues. But we've only got like. 39 drivers and we need about 60 to run all three of our leagues so we're looking for people to join so if you haven't already go sign up and uh yeah um what else i don't know really i think that's it really um that poll is gather mate that poll you've put way too long because i'm gonna have to end the stream now um <sighs> We'll just say it looks like Jutsi Kev's going to win it, so. Well, uh, 
just uh, that was some way to pass the final four laps, just round about yeah, It was, round about yeah, in Code Masters, yeah. That's what we do on a regular basis. Um, that's what everyone does, really. But yeah, uh, thank you for joining us for this week, and thank you, Dan, for joining me, and we will see you all later on.